The project that we're going through today represents the efforts of nearly a dozen classes in eight separate subject areas. Significant contributions to our U.S.-Japanese treaty project include, but are by no means limited to, Ms. Chio Cotton, the world languages uh, instructor uh, who is bringing us the Japanese language uh, students to serve as translators for the Japanese exchange students who will serve as the ambassadors of Japan. Myself, Mr. Patrick Griffin, Social Sciences. I have brought the Honors Government class to serve as both the State Department and the United States Senate that will be advising and consenting to this treaty. Mr. George Rodriguez Walling is the Social Sciences head who is here today. Mr. Uh, Ms. Lola, uh, sorry. Ms. Lori Scola is the World Languages Head, also with us today. Uh, Ms. Paige, uh, Ms. Paige Viola is the ninth grade honors English instructor. She has her class here representing the local newspapers of the respective senators present in our Senate. They will be interviewing the uh, senators and determining whether or not they get re-elected after this. Uh, Mr. Gabriel Medina, Social Science, has brought the 10th grade U.S. History class to serve as the national press with assigned points of view for those press uh, respectively. Dr. Mario Kubas of the Social Sciences has brought an anthropology observance unit to do some field work. He will also be uh, recording the event for later review by his anthropology classes to look at the human interactions in such a large and multicultural event. Uh, Ms. Red, uh, Ms. Monica Rodriguez and Mr. Mike Silver, whose classes are covering events from the school yearbook, uh, newspaper, and television production perspectives, respectively. Uh, Mr. Dean, uh, Mr. Dean Morello, who's helping us with computers and whose student has actually custom designed a Java application for this project, which he did in less than a week's time. That student is Mr. Louis Vera, who is in the 11th grade, designed this in Java uh, to our custom specification, so quite a bit of credit is due to Mr. Vera. Uh, special thanks also to Mr. John Pertulis, Mr. Frank Steele, Mr. Jonathan Schoenwald, and Mr. Ruben Valencia for the use of these facilities and for bringing together a population that is capable and willing to do such a wonderful interdisciplinary project. So at this point, I would like to turn things over to Mr. Mizutoni, the Vice Consul of Japan. So good morning everyone, thank you for inviting me for me today, so I really appreciate to you and uh, I'm look, looking forward to your debate. Thank you very much. So Miss Cotton asked me to talk something, but uh, I think my speech is going to be boring, so let me finish quickly. <laughs> so my name is Seiki Mizutani, I'm working for Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Japan. Uh, I spent four years in Tokyo. After that, I worked in Boston, Bangladesh, and now in Miami as a vice consul. So when I was in Tokyo, uh, I, was, I was in charge of the national security about between the U.S. and Japan, something like that. So I can tell you something about the U.S.-Japan security treaty. Uh, as you know, the U.S. is the most important country for Japan in various, in various uh, fields, like uh, politically, economically, culturally, and also militarily. So according to, uh, according to the opinion poll, which is carried by Ministry of Foreign Affairs, uh, more than 85% of U.S. citizens, so they answered that Japan is the most dependable country. And also, more than 80% of the U.S. citizens answer that the U.S. and the Japan security treaty should be maintained in the future. I think, uh, right, uh, under the dangerous security environment in Asia and Pacific region, the U.S. and the Japan security treaty is kind of a, um, indispensable for Japan. So, so before you debate about the base, let me give you some information. You guys, do you know how many bases in Japan? 10, 50, 100, 1,000? Uh, actually, 130. So among these, 75% of base in Okinawa. 
So you can find easily the many bases in Okinawa. So next, how much is the cost to money the base per year? The Japanese government paid like uh, 600 billion per year for the base. I think it's a huge tax. So how many is the US meters in Japan? About the uh, name. 40,000 meters in Japan. So among these, 25,000 meters in Okinawa. So you guys have to choose the five states in for five states for five bases. So I have to judge the judge the quality. What is it bad? What is it good for the base for your country? So I I expect debate will be library library. Lively discussion today. Thank you very much. All right, folks, for the sake of the mechanics of the thing, um, we are going to assume that uh, pres uh, President of the Senate, uh, Joseph Biden, is not present today. I haven't seen him, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so, I'm going to assume that I am as the member of the Senate who has served the longest in the majority party, because we only have one party in the Senate, room 305, um, <laughs> that I would be elected as is tradition the president pro tem. I'm also going to be the majority leader because I'm the guy that takes attendance. Um, so for that purpose, I'm going to run the show here, but at this point, you guys know what to do. We've discussed it before. At this point, please meet with your ambassadors and with your Senate caucuses and start negotiating this treaty. Remember, if you want anything that is not one of the bases as a writer on that treaty, you got to write it down. Uh, but go right ahead, get started. And while you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and explain for the purpose of recording what exactly it is that we're doing. So go right, go right ahead, guys, and start negotiating amongst yourselves. When we have a treaty proposal, let me know and we'll go through it. For the purpose of recording, the way that this works, there are five bases that are going to be placed to simulate the importance of strategic locations. Military value is double the number of electoral votes if it is a border or coastal state. If it is a non-border, non-coastal state, it is worth the electoral votes of that state. Economically, the value translates not only to the state chosen for, like for example, let's say it was Kansas, but also to all of the states that border that state. So the economics transfers to all of the neighbors, not Arkansas. So if Kansas took a base, all of these states would economically benefit from having the uh, base in that area. They would not face any political implications because the base is nearby, but not actually in their state. So the objective for Oklahoma is to get as many of their neighbors to take bases as possible without actually taking one themselves while at the same time getting the best possible total military score for their country. The objective for the Japanese embassy is simply to get the best military score possible so as to be the best ally possible.
California, Washington, New York, Florida, and Texas. I will give you a few seconds to debate amongst yourselves, and then we will have a formal vote whether it's to accept or reject the initial offering 
from the nation of Japan or whether we wish to amend this before we accept it.
Ladies and gentlemen, we have uh, a speaker to recognize. The floor recognizes the honorable lady from this great state of Mississippi. Good morning. Um, we have come up with a counter proposal. A counter proposal. Um, we offer Tennessee and Georgia, since Tennessee borders eight different states. Oh, wrong one. Oh. <laughs> Since Tennessee borders eight different states, and Georgia is right next to Florida, so you will get the benefits from Florida, and it's also on the coast, which is really, really, like, it, it'll help our country majorly since it's on the coast. Um, we do not want California because it's too big, and we are offering Hawaii since it's on the coast of California and on the coast of um, Alaska, so it gets some benefit. Um, Go ahead and mark what you're talking about. Okay. Well, Hawaii is right there. Um, we do not want Texas because it's too big of a state. We're offering Colorado because it is um, in the middle of our nation and we don't have any coverage there. Uh, we do not want Washington because it doesn't really border many states that we like need help in. <laughs> and um, we also have another state right next to Canada, uh, which is New York, so we're taking this one out also. Um, and that is our proposal. Yeah. Okay. So, at this point, because this was proposed by the United States side, I'm going to take a quick vote, one at a time. Go ahead and just say your state and how you vote, and if it passes, we will formally offer it to Japan, who is then free to accept or reject it as they choose. So, just go right down the line, stand up, say what state you're from, and how you're voting. Texas, day. Um, Rhode Island. Uh, <coughs> Massachusetts, nay. New York, nay. Arkansas, nay. Georgia, yay. Pennsylvania, yay. Mississippi, yay. Florida, yay. Tennessee, yay. Montana, yay. North Dakota, yay. California, Hawaii, Alaska, Virginia, All right, that is the necessary two thirds, so that is formally offered to Japan for consideration. Folks, do we have specific things that we have to have so I can communicate to them? Yeah, we're, we're trying to figure that out right now. New York is the top for now. New York, you've got to have. Yes. We're, we're considering Florida also.
When you negotiate, you have to talk to the people you're negotiating with. treaty, then the United States gets invaded, because we have no defense. Okay. Okay, that happened. It would be it would be very foolish not to pass a treaty. I have one of the nice ladies in the newspaper and fly. So right, right. They they may wish to take their chances. So they're in my field. No more than ten minutes. Okay, perfect. So we'll do this, and then the next proposal will be. Okay. All right. All right. Ladies and gentlemen of the Senate, if we could please come to order. We have a formal proposal from the from the great nation of Japan. Japan proposes California, Colorado, Florida, North Carolina, and New York. Bear in mind that this treaty is nearing its deadline, and if we do not have a treaty signed, we will risk having no national defense at all. You have about five or six minutes in class time, which is to say that the treaty is due to expire in that time. Alright, so right, right now, okay. All right, let me talk about it. Mr. Griffin, may I counter propose? Yeah. Quickly, yeah. Yeah. if you if you have the vote, let's hope this will have a vote. Guys, come here and see if you're okay with this treaty. Agree to that. We just change the vote on my vote. Talk for another minute. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna vote on this, and then I'm gonna let you counter propose yeah. if it fails. No, we're not. No, we're not. That makes sense. You're taking away this and we're taking away this. This makes sense. No, this makes sense. We're just feeding this. We give them the New York. Yeah, we're giving them everything that they want. Right. right now. Ladies and gentlemen, the Senate, I'm going to call for a vote in less than one minute. Alright. Right now, our economic. This is Senate. Yeah, yeah. I just told you. Alright, do you want to give up Florida? No. We're agreeing to this. We're agreeing to this. We're just changing North Carolina. Georgia, Florida. No, Egypt. Florida. 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 Florida.
roll call vote on the Japanese proposed treaty. So at this point, one at a time, say your state and how you vote. New York, nay. Uh, Texas, nay. Arkansas, nay. Rhode Island, nay. Georgia, nay. North Carolina, nay. Massachusetts, nay. Hawaii, nay. Tennessee, nay. North Dakota, nay. Florida, nay. Pennsylvania, nay. California, nay. Montana, nay. Virginia, nay. All right, the treaty has failed to get the necessary two-thirds in the Senate on the advising consent capacity. Therefore, uh, do we have a counterproposal from the United States? We have a, a counterproposal. Please make it quickly. We appreciate your treaty. We're just making a few small modifications to it. We still are going to give you California. However, we propose instead of Colorado, we give Texas instead of that. And instead of, we're, we'll have Florida, but instead of North Carolina, we want to propose Georgia. No, no, no. no. Oh, what, Tennessee. 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 All right. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my God. Tennessee. Take me Florida. Take me Florida. We're good. All right. Yeah. That is our. That is our proposal. <laughs> All right, guys, that is our new proposal. No, 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 no. What is your <laughs> Florida? Oh, my God. That is our new proposal. Oh, my God. Thank you, Mr. Senator, from the great state of New York. Ladies and gentlemen of the Senate, I am pleased to announce that Japan has initially accepted your proposal, assuming that the U.S. Senate then approves it. So, once again, with a roll call vote, identify your state and how you vote. New York, yay. Texas, yay. Georgia, yay. Rhode Island, yay. Arkansas, yay. California, yay. Massachusetts, yay. North Carolina, yay. Hawaii, yay. Tennessee, yay. North Dakota, yay. Florida, yay. Pennsylvania, yay. Montana, yay. Virginia, yay. Mississippi, yay. Alaska, yay. By unanimous consent, congratulations, ladies and gentlemen of Dollar Schools and our friends from Japan. You have passed a defense treaty between the nations of Japan and the United States. I hereby call the Senate to recess. Senators, please report to the Capitol steps to address the media. So without without uh, 
without someone to protect us, we would surely be a tar moving target, and the nation would surely suffer if we were hit or damaged in some type of way. So, there's no protection from... Yeah, in this... Yeah, there's no army. The largest of our in the whole entire nation. If we take a hit, the economy, the, uh, the economy and oil markets would go down. Immediately, oil prices would skyrocket. People would be mad. Yes. Really? Are you really? Is allowing someone to protect us such a bad thing? Are you? Are you willing to just have someone anytime? Someone can just bomb you. Also, do you think having a base would help prevent immigration? Um, the army does not have anything to do with immigration. Beneficial workers and gay could intimidate those things that they set up near the borough border. Alright, and last question. Um, how did you feel about the last proposal that America gave at the unanimous decision? Did you agree with it or not? Uh, Can you remind me again what the last proposal was? Uh, it was New York, California, Texas, Tennessee, and Georgia. You thought that the one I was agreed to? Yes, yes, that everyone agreed to. I, I, I thought that's a great idea. I like the plan of putting it in Tennessee because a lot of the surrounding countries actually, I'm sorry, surrounding states um, draw great um, economic value. California has a huge military value being on the coast, so does New York. Uh, Georgia also being very close to you know, it gives it, I think, one militarily, it's probably the best way. You get California, New York, and Texas with bases, which are the you know, big three states that need bases. Right? Alright, and I'm going to give you one more question. It came up on the top of my head. Uh, uh, wait, sorry, I lost it. Um, I had a question, but I lost it. Uh, let me see. What made, what made them change? Do you know what made them change their mind to bring back California and Texas, or because it, those uh, those two were in the initial proposal by Japan? Do you know why they were taking out on the second proposal? On the second proposal, I guess the second proposal is more maybe not to agree to it, but just to see on what grounds it's down standing. Maybe they wanted to see you know how lenient or how how much the U.S. is trying to give in military value. I think the second proposal was much better though, including. Uh, California specifically, just because of the military value of it being on the coast and having such a large population. Um, I, I think I, th I don't think it was I don't think the second proposal was going to be passed just for lack of military uh, military strength. Military All right, thank you.